In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is the last Sunday of the church here. The reading from Matthew about Jesus riding in great triumph into the city of Jerusalem is the reading that we normally hear on Palm Sunday in the beginning of Holy Week. And then during that week, Jesus, we hear, is betrayed dies, and then at the end, rises again in new life. And that entrance into Jerusalem on the back of a colt or a donkey is the beginning of a new way of being, of a new way of understanding God. It's a new way of being in relationship with God. And on this Sunday, in our time, we stand at the end of the church year, which because of the coronavirus, we find ourselves more isolated, more alone, more fearful, more anxious, and certainly more stressed. 253,000 people, our fellow citizens, have died from this disease. Millions have been infected. And now, in addition to all this, we find ourselves living in a poisonous political climate driven by hyper-partisanship and a sitting president refusing to transfer power. And we truly are in a foreign territory where we have not yet been. So on this Sunday, let us all take a deep breath and exhale. And remember what Bambi's mother said when the noise of hunters, the gunshots appeared or was heard off screen. And Bambi's mother says to Bambi, yes, it's scary out there, but you're safe. So from that point of us being safe, how then do we sing the Lord's song in a new way? How do we deepen our faith in these circumstances? How do we grow? How do we continue? Continue the intent and the principles of what we have based our lives on in circumstances that are so very different from those that formed them. On this last apocalyptic Sunday of this church year, we can acknowledge the forces at work in the world around us. We can be outraged by systematic racial injustice and by the political climate. But as St. Paul wrote, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We cannot just give up on God and stop and retreat into our own bunkers and cut off all connection with each other. In these times, I think that daily prayer, exercise, meditation, and working harder to maintain the connections that exist between us are crucial to singing the Lord's song in a new land. So let us do that. Let us continue our efforts to reach out to each other. And on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, let us give thanks for each other, for our families, even though we may not be able to be with them this year or the ones we love. But let us nonetheless give thanks for them, for those we love, and for the blessing of the presence of God in our lives 
and for the gift of our lives in each other's. Amen.